What's going on people, welcome to 137works and today I would like to talk about Assetto Corsa and car games and maps and tracks and stuff like that and just that general idea. I will just get out of the way really quickly by saying apologies for the lack of videos, I know it's been a month, I'm fully aware, I do apologise, but just yeah, that's I just, I, maybe I'll explain towards the end or something like that, but I'll just say that right off at the beginning. But yeah, so I saw a thread on Reddit earlier on about a person asking if there's any possibility, any way of getting a map where we had all the different layouts, let layouts for a Bisu but on one track in one map in one kind of layout where you could just drive to each one the same way the real one is like if you don't know a Bisu is this mountainside kind of sports complex where all the different layouts I think there's like five in total five or six in total and they're all connected in this one air like mountainous area of Japan and you like you literally just if you want to go from one track to the next track of the day you just basically drive to them drive to them sorry and I will actually leave a link there's a video in, uh, to a video that will be in the description of Nori Yarrow who's Alexi Smith he runs a channel called Nori Yarrow and he lives in and around the Ibisu area I'm presuming because he's there all the time he keeps his personal like missile uh, Nissan R32 skyline just there all the time and he's done a video where he did like a walkthrough of all the different courses Nishi, Minami, all the, like Higashi and all that kind of all the different courses and like he shows how you drive to them like there's a particular one where you have to physically like get up this big huge steep hill which a lot of cars struggle with and I just thought it was interesting to think like oh these aren't like like a lot of the time when I think of these race tracks I think the, I think about them in the context of the games that I've played them in so Sakuba I think of just Sakuba on its own that track I forget that there's different like car tracks and stuff like that there Suzuka I forget that there's like Suzuka Twin like I always just think of it back in the Forza days where it's just that one Suzuka layout I you forget there's different layouts and stuff like that yeah so he did that video and it, it, it made me think like reading this thread it's like why isn't there a map that is just like an open kind of thing where you can just drive them and it's something that I've talked about for a long time because I've wondered why my PC for example can't run a map like a Bisu in a set of course uh, at any kind of decent frame rate like higher than like say 70, 80, 90 at, 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 at decent settings with like anti-aliasing and kind of reflections up and stuff like that and shadows up like it, say, it seems weird to me that they, like I can render the entire world of Skyrim I can the entire province of Skyrim I can render all of oh, what do they call the Witcher's place whatever wherever the Witcher takes place it's, it's escaped my mind right now I can run all of that open world glory in all its highest settings and stuff like that at a good 70-80 frames per second as well but I can't run anything more than this crappy relatively crappy low rendered low texture quality version of a Bisu at like any less than like any more than the same frame rates I'm getting in those games now I will say I'm not an idiot I know how game programming works I know the whole idea of if you're looking at a box the way that they try to optimize games to get the best frame rate is that it only actually renders the side of the box that you're looking on at any one time like give or take is roughly how it's done so for example in in say skyrim for example if i'm in white Hall, sorry if i'm in white run it's rendering in the buildings in white run in full quality it's rendering in the textures in full quality it's not rendering in like the college of winterhold in full quality like all those miles away like it's not like it's not doing that they're all like much lower quality like basically blurry generally like single colored like textures or whatever like that like i get that that's how it works but I don't understand why there hasn't been either a racing game developed in an engine or an engine specifically developed to make a really good looking racing game that's capable of these big open worlds and do it in the same way. Like we get it with something like the crew, we get it with Forza Horizon, it is possible. Why does that not exist for like say, like why couldn't Kunos, if they wanted to, obviously it's not a thing that would ever actually happen, but if they wanted to for example port a set of Corsa over to this, we'll call it like open world race engine or something like that and just put all their content into that engine and just like start from there and then like if people wanted to create these tracks now it's possible why is it like in today's day and age with all the technology and stuff like that it just always it's something that's occurred to me every now and again and i thought i was alone in thinking this so i didn't really think too deeply into it or like make a video before on it but like reading that comment i was like oh this is actually a thing people think about it's actually something that's worth talking about and bringing up like it just seems crazy like i i know that with limitations of whatever i actually Interesting question. What engine does the set of Corsa run on? It's not like a modified or factor engine as far as I know. Because I know a lot of games that are coming out now, like Automobilista, or Factor 2 obviously, and a couple of other ones are based on just the original or factor engine and their tweak. Even the Formula 1 teams nowadays just use like their simulators in their in their headquarters are literally just tweak versions of a set or of a or factor. And I think some people use um, a version of a set of Corsa. But it's just weird that we're using these like seriously old, archaic, out-of-date engines when it just, it surely must be worth the effort for somebody, somebody 
some team or some organization or something like that uh, or, or development studio surely it must be worth the effort for the return that you get on it for what you can create and like what what's possible to create a new engine where you can still have the physics and the, the data side of things like that's all still possible but just in a better looking engine like as much as I love a set of Corsa and as much as like the, the Kunos tracks and stuff like that are are, are good looking but obviously a lot of the mod tracks are, are looking look great as well but then you do have things that are like mod tracks that just don't look good because they just the engine that they're built in like the, the, the tools that are on hand just aren't aren't capable of putting out these amazing looking tracks like why is it not possible to have like because we already have the tracks that doesn't need to be done maybe obviously yeah tweak and update the the, 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 the models get higher res uh, textures and stuff or higher resolution textures and stuff like that but why is it not possible to sit down in say blender or 3ds max or whatever like that plop all these tr individual models down that we have then create the ter terrain around them is what i'm imagining would have what you'd have to do if you weren't just going to go out and create it from scratch like plop it plop all them down in their general locations like say use google earth the way we do it now for creating tracks for a lot of, uh, if you don't know a lot of, like one of the ways that um modded tracks are made nowadays is that they just straight up take they just straight up take an image of google earth or google maps or whatever you, you use nowadays and they'll just plop that down like a, a flat 2d image and then they'll just start going from there and they can use like the data and stuff like that from google maps i think to create like the height maps for the mountains and stuff and they'll just go from there why is that not possible but with something bigger scale where you've got all like you could just plop down all your like track layouts like literally just the track like map layout things um, and then just build from there build around it and then just have like the connecting roads have like nice mountains and stuff like that like the state of the scenery in these in a set of course uh, north factor stuff like that the trees are literally like for the, for a lot of like a lot of the time are literally just like 2d sprites they're not actually fully fleshed out trees they don't have actual physical properties like they're literally just like just repeating copy and pasted 2d sprites and it's all to keep the the, the, the the gpu usage down it's all to make sure that the game doesn't run like crap because you can get it like every now and again you've probably experienced it yourself there's some maps that are badly made they're not optimized terribly well and you'll get to certain sections of the map where your frame rate will just tank down to the 30s and 40s it just seems bizarre to me that that's that's a thing that's still exists and it's not a it hasn't it hasn't been addressed it's like nobody even wants to consider that as a possibility to have bit, bigger better maps uh better tracks again i go back to the thing of forza horizon that's something that i didn't even consider until i said it earlier on like we're ca like we're capable of having this big open world racing game with forza horizon why can't we take that technology or whatever whatever it is that um like in, even in forza horizon if you go off into the far like east of the map and look towards uh surface paradise i think it is with all the skyscrapers you can still tell they're there they are rendered in still but like if you zoom in on them for example in the camera mode you can see that they're all low poly low resolution no textures or bad textures and stuff like that like that's how they, they're using that technique that we talked about earlier on why is that not more widely implemented i would love to see that like be a thing because could you um, could you actually imagine like having the the entire ibisu like motorland area or whatever they, like the full complex is called ibisu complex whatever because it, ibisu isn't the only example as i said there's loads of different places like that now obviously when I, as i say this i'm thinking like yeah this maybe this is a drifter specific thing maybe that's why maybe it's not in such huge demands as far as racetracks goes because like they're obviously like if you're at spa spa is the only racetrack of its size and and that kind of thing within like a hundred mile radius probably probably more thousands of miles probably but it's just it's something that i was thinking about but maybe that's the answer maybe that's why nobody's bothered to do it it is such a niche thing that it probably isn't worth a while but as a like if i was a modern if i had the ability the ability i would love to do that i would love to get cracking on like that next advancement that next level of kind of expandability or whatever you want to call it just like the the, the scale of it to be able to be like because like especially with the, the, the likes of vr now we're getting so immersed in these games like we're trying to like actually feel like we're there as much as possible it's really like it's it really takes you out of the moment out of the moment to have to press pause press escape wait a minute go back to the load to the menu pick your new layout wait for that to load start up and then start from there again like to, to actually be able to just be like okay yeah i feel like going from minami to higashi now let me just take the road that i know i can get there by <laughs> like but um yeah i'm sure that i probably forgot about something but it, it's been a while um, and and i just thought i was trying to think of something to get me back into i have ideas i have plans obviously i got the the xbox wheel i have some gopros now not gopros like polaroid cube cameras i've got mounts i've got head mounts and chest mounts i have ideas for videos i just have been flat out of work or just like tired and stuff like that i know it keeps making that excuse but that's just the honest truth of it. i've just been shattered uh kind of a little flat a little flat for ideas but like definitely these are some things that will be coming and um, but just yeah i read that comment and i was like just struck a chord with me and like yeah i've been thinking about that for like i don't want to say years but probably literally a year or two probably now well it, yeah probably more than that, actually for for as long as i've been thinking about like racing games and stuff like that i've always thought it'd be cool to have like a full layout of the, it, particularly a but that's it if you enjoyed it uh please do leave a thumbs up Subscribe if you're new here. Thanks for watching and goodbye.